Hey peeps. So I've been totally complete and just pretty much enlightened for the past, uh, I'd say month almost. And um, I'm just realizing now that everything, there's no reason to ever suffer or be upset because when things happen, you can either interpret them as good or bad, and I choose to interpret them as nothing at all or good. And basically, even if your car breaks down and you get a flat tire, you can interpret it as no big deal, or you can interpret it as something super bad, whatever that's gonna ruin your whole day. But it doesn't have to, you know? It's all about how you see things, it's all perception, you see. So I've been about maybe, uh, maybe not fundamentally enlightened, but perhaps I've been like unofficially awakened spiritually. And uh, I'm truly happy, truly just complete and, and good, and life is great. Um, one thing I've noticed, and this is like, this just makes sense, you yeah. know. The thing is, I really love everyone. All of you. And my one subscriber as well. I've been making of this video. One subscriber. Thank you for subscribing, thank you. And uh, I love you too. I love everybody. I love all living creatures with a passion. And I found that uh, when you love all living creatures with a passion, you will be truly happy. And when you are truly happy, you will love all living creatures with a passion. It's just the way it is. It's just how, how it works, really. I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. Because I've, I've been doing this for so long now. I've been practicing Buddhism for, six years now someone told me to go vegan I was like well I want to but unfortunately my body cannot even handle being vegetarian apparently I tried to be years back I was a vegetarian for like four months my body couldn't handle it I needed the enzymes that were only found in meat <clears throat> basically it was like I instinctually sensed like a lion can sense they need meat I could sense that was the only thing that was going to help me. I had more protein, I tried some patties, some vegetarian patties, nothing really, it was, it was like an instinct. I knew I needed meat or I felt awful. So that day I went out and I got um, one meal full of meat, I felt a little better, a good amount better. Then I had another one for lunch, I felt a lot better. And then by the end of the day I had one more meal uh, with um, meat in it. I think it was like beef, I think, red meat. And all of a sudden, I felt amazing. I felt like I hadn't felt in, in months. And so I tried to be a vegetarian, and I guess some people just can't do it. I want to do it, but I guess some people can't do it. Some people aren't made physically. I think we're natural omnivores. I really do. But some people can handle being vegan, so for those people, they should be, in my opinion. If we can cut down on killing animals, that's always good. I love animals too. All animals, even the mean ones. Even the animals that would eat me. I love them too. Killer whales and tigers. Yeah, I love them. I do. Um, basically, love everybody, dude. Because like, if you love everybody with a passion, you really try hard to love them. You don't have to like them, you know? You don't. You don't have to like them. I don't particularly like Donald Trump. I think he's kind of a douche. That's my opinion of him. You might have a different opinion. If you want to share it in the comment section, you can. I don't like the man at all. I really don't. I think he's kind of a douche. But I love him. Because there's a difference between... Um, 
liking someone, love someone, you think, oh, you love them, you gotta like them, then too, to love them. No, you don't have to like someone to love someone. Just spread a message of love to your enemies, to your friends, family, to everyone in the world. You don't have to like them. There's a lot of people I don't like. A lot of people. But I love them nonetheless. <clears throat> and, um, yeah. So, just understand that if you kind of just force yourself to just love everyone with passion and find reasons to love them, find ways to love them, and just love everybody, just love fest, love fest 2019 every day. Increase it every day. Love in your heart. Try to have it. Try to see people as people you love. Because we're all one. We're all one. One consciousness is one through all of us. We're all interconnected. And this has been proven, I believe, quantum physics. So, um, just be loving. And I guarantee you, like, if you forgive those who have harmed you in the past and love them, like you, if you try to just sit down, I've done this too, try to sit down and forgive all those who have hurt you, even if it's just for that one moment, just forgive them, not for them, but for you to let go. And I guarantee you in that moment, you'll feel like I felt. You'll feel, you'll feel like, you'll just feel like free. Like you feel freed, liberated almost. And it might not last, you might hold a grudge three days later. But when you actually let go and forgive people and love people, you feel free. And you will be truly happy if, 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 if you love everyone, love all living creatures, you know? Just love everybody, dude. It's what I do, I'm happy. I know it can be difficult, you probably say in the comment section, well, how do you love all people? It's difficult for me, Joe. It's difficult for me to love people who are douchebags. I know, I know it is. Believe me, it was hard for me at first too. There's some people who are real douches. Seriously, dude. It's hard to love them, just understand. You're getting like and, like and love confused. Okay, think about it. You don't have to like someone. But if you love them, understand they have a right to be happy. No one deserves to suffer simply for the sake of suffering, in my humble opinion. I think people deserve to suffer only to learn a lesson from what they've done so they don't do it again when they get out of a timeout chair or jail or prison or whatnot. They only need to suffer to learn a lesson. If you can make them learn a lesson without hurting them in any way, it's ideal. But maybe someone say, you say something like, oh, well, that person raped my sister. So when he goes to prison, I hope he gets raped. Because that's justice. No, that's hypocrisy. That's hypocrisy, straight up. You see, to, to prove that, that harming someone is wrong, you're going to harm someone who harms someone to again indeed prove that harming people is wrong. This is based on visceral thinking. This is based on emotional instinctual thinking. Not an ounce of logic or cogency. Trust me. No one deserves to suffer. But sometimes they gotta suffer to learn their lesson. Look at what Norway's doing. Norway's barely giving anybody any jail time. A few years maybe. They 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 change them up and they let them go. And they have a very low reoffense rate. And like us in the United States, who after three years have a, what is it, a 63, 66% reoffense rate, they go back to prison, and within five years, I think it's like 75%, 77%, something like that. And man, we don't do things right. The prison system in America doesn't work. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. I'm just ranting on now. <clears throat> I, I just, you know, I just love all you guys. 
I do. I think you're wonderful. I love you, and I wish you none but the best of peace and joy in your life. I really do. I really do. This is part of the reason I'm so happy, you see? I'm so happy because, like, I don't hold grudges. Holding on to anger and hatred is like grasping onto a hot coal with the intent to throw it at someone. You are the one who gets burned. You see? The Buddha said that. And he was right. I speak from personal experience, he was right. Um, love everybody, dude. Love everybody. Do it. Force yourself. Love them. You don't gotta like them. You don't gotta like them. There's a lot of people I don't like. But love them. Love them all you can. Forgive them. You know, drop your grudges. Let it all go and see what happens. And they report back to me. Um, just love everybody. And you will be truly happy in life. And when you're truly happy in life, you will love all living creatures with a passion. It goes hand in hand. So, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, please comment down below what you thought of this video, if you'd be so kind. Uh, rate, even if you don't like it, you can download it if you want. But just rate, please. And please subscribe, because I want to spread a message of peace and love around the world. And it's hard to do that with only one subscriber, although I do appreciate you one subscriber. I do appreciate you. You're totally awesome. You subscribed to me, so you're totally awesome. Regardless, go say so. Okay, so subscribe and try to be happy, guys. Try to be happy. Try to love everybody, because when you do, you will naturally be truly happy. Till next time.